What's up guys? Coming at you here with another video review. This time we've got for you BotCon 2012 Spinister. As you guys know I love Spinister. This is a repaint of the Tomahawk mold that came out in Hunt for the Decepticons line. Um, that one was mostly black. This guy is obviously repainted as Spinister. Uh, he was an Autobot. This guy's Decepticon. Yada yada yada. Um, as you can see he is a nice blue color. I like got tealish blue uh, with the pink. All these stickers, things that look like stickers, are actually painted on. Um, the nose cone one's really cool. Nice Decepticon logo. The helicopter blade spin, of course. Um, he's got this little radar thing. I don't know what the heck it is. It's supposed to be like a missile pod or a flare pod or something. Who knows? Um, got a little landing gear. In here, it's also got two more little landing gears right there that don't move. Um, I've had this guy <laughs> mistransformed on my shelf since I've had him. Um, I've had the feet folded forward, and that made him topple over like that. Uh, it's supposed to be folded up like this, just so you know. So he's also got missiles, and missiles do fire. Um, they attach via go in. Um, these three, I think, three millimeter clips, and he's got a clip point here, as well as here, which is more useful for robot mode. Um, he's also got, you can lift these up and fold the clip down out of the way, and it actually makes sense to do it. Just be careful with these clips, you don't want to twist them off, you want to kind of pull them straight off. Um, he's got regular hand pegs so you can plug them in that way so if you like that look better of course you have to fold them down so that the helicopter blades can actually spin otherwise kinda screwed go in the hole there cool um, got these missile pods oh, that doesn't look too bad Yeah, I'm an idiot. So, take off. Oh my god. Try not to shoot the missile across the room when you're doing this. Let's take the guns off for now. Alright. It does have these pinkish, more pink parts. The tail fan is pink. The hard points here are pink. That's all. An homage to G1 Spinister, who is a target master, like I've said before. Um, so yeah, let's transform this guy. So to do so, you want to start with the legs. And you just want to kind of fold these parts out of the way. And then hinge it off there. And then straighten it all out. And then you want to... You can separate the legs. There's a peg here and a hole there where they peg together, so you want to pull them out. These teal parts are the actual toes, and this black part here is the is the um, the heel. So what you want to do is fold that all out, and then out like that. Again, we'll fold all that out. This teal part forward, the back heel part down, and he's done. That's Spinister. No, I'm just kidding. But now he can actually stand up. So with the rotor blades, you can leave them whole, and they'll look, you know, they'll have an X, they'll have an X across his back. I like to fold them in half, which is the proper way to do it, proper, since that's the way it looks in the G1 look, because the G1 had a straight blade, which is a single blade that went straight across, and you fold it up to, uh, in robot mode. So, I like that. Come up here, and you can fold these up out of the way. Now the tail, you can go ahead and pinch the tail closed. You see it's got like a little hook thing, kind of, that holds it together. It just kind of sits there, just pinch that together. You could leave it open too if you want like a claw, but he's supposed to have like a blade that's going to be his arm. If you look up here, there's, let me do one, what you want to do is lift up. So if you, and then it also locks in here. So let me just get this out of the way just to show you. If you look in here, get in close. 
Ooh, baby. There is a hole. Not a hole, a bump. It's not really a peg. It's just kind of like a suggestion of a bump. And there's a hole here. So when you plug it in, you actually lift it up and then push it down onto that hole. And that kind of helps lock it in there. So again, you lift up and then pull it out. And you also, it locks in pretty tight up here by this purple bit. So you kind of have to wiggle it out and pull it away from the figure. Pull it up and out of the way. Okay. So now we, what we can do is fold this back in half. And when you do that, there's a peg right here. Goes into a hole in his bum. I said bum. Just like that. That locks that in. Now what you can do is take the cockpit and you can fold the landing gear up. You want to take the cockpit and open it up. Let me get this one second here. Oh my god. Oh my god, going crazy. What am I doing? What am I doing? Lift this up a little bit. Get it. I'm gonna be able to show you guys this properly. Okay. And take the cockpit open, and you can see his head's in there. So you want to come up underneath with your finger, kind of push it up out of the way, and then rotate it 90 degrees to face forward. And kind of like it's kind of like crouched down. So you want to kind of like stretch it out and pull it up. You can close the cockpit now. Um, when you, you push the cockpit back towards the body, and it will friction in and lock in. Now you got his head. Now, with the arms, what you want to do is there's these kind of thruster parts. Um, that you want to face forward, so you want to turn that whole deal 90 degrees. And then, I kind of hold up my thumb and then rotate the shoulder around. Same thing on this side. Kind of hold the body, rotate this, so that they're facing forward. They don't lock in, really. So you can go, you can go past where you're supposed to go. But there is like a part you can feel kind of like where it's supposed to go. I kind of leave them up a little bit more. Kind of keeps the blades up uh, where they should be. And then you want to do the same thing on this side. Bend the shoulder down. Um, these are really stiff on mine, these ball joints. Uh, okay, now with this part, this is the tail fin. There's the rotor blade. What you want to do is fold it back. And as you fold it, da -da -da -da, the hand pops out. That a little bit better focus. Do the same thing on this side. Make sure it's straight. Same, so you can also leave it this guy forward, fold it up like that so you can have a knife. Like that. You can practice your stabbing. <laughs> you want to fold this back, otherwise, kind of get this little lemon jam going. It kind of clicks in on the shoulder parts, but they're not really supposed to go there. It's kind of weird. Um, the backs, you're more or less done at this point. The back section, you can, with these rocket pods and everything, you can have them folded up, kind of like that. That's basically as best you can do it. And kind of leave them back, but we'll leave them like that for now. Kind of straighten them all out. So they're pretty much. We have Spinister. Make sure his yeah, make sure his knees are straight and his Why is he all lopsided? Come on, work with me here. Work with me, you're on camera. Stay. Fold his heels out more. There we go. There we have Bakon Spinister in robot mode. So as far as articulation, head's on a ball joint, goes all the way around, blah blah blah. Shoulders, um, when you rotate them, these thruster parts tend to move with it. So you kind of want to hold it with your thumb when you rotate it, but it'll go all the way around. But it does get hitched up from this bad boy. So just be careful with that. Bends at the elbow. Nothing at the wrist. Um, the hands are fixed, open in that position, but they can hold weapons. It does have the 
the peg hole for it. It is rounded, so you can actually get something in there. Um, hips are on bull joints. Nothing at the waist. Doesn't rotate at the waist or anything. Uh, bends at the knee. Will not bend forward because of the uh, knee, the knee piece right there. Um, feet will go up and down. I don't want to do it because it's annoying. Because I won't be able to get it flat, but um, feet will go up and down. Part of the transformation. You can also keep the rotor blades all the way open if you want, and have you know like an X across his back. I don't like that. I like it better like this since it's more like G1. So for the missiles, you can put it in his hands if you want. Now being a target master, you would think he'd be able to hold two of them as a target master, but none of that, none of these target mastery gimmicks work since it's not really a target master. But as you can see, he can hold it just fine, even though his hands are like in an open position. Um, like I said before, he does have these clips, clip points on the tail, and that's what they're for now, is to, if you want to put them on his arm, you can have them any way you want. The hook is actually on a bull joint in there, so you can get a full range of motion on the missile, so you can point it any which way you want. You can also connect them, where well, you connect them in vehicle mode, up there, just kind of how I like them. Or you can also have them, there's a hole, there's a peg for the hand, there's a hole in there and you can peg them in there and then kind of aim it out forward towards you. It's really entirely up to you. They give you, that is a good thing, they do give you lots and lots of uh, mounting options for your guns, for your missiles, for this guy. So yeah, do I like him? I love him because he's Spinister, and as you guys know by now, Spinister is very close to me, he's always got a place in my heart. And I'll probably buy anything that has Spinister, I just got the Creo little mini con, little mini Creos of Spinister. Uh, I will buy anything with a Spinister name, just because I love him, because he was so dear to me as a kid. Um, problems with this guy all stem from Tomahawk. The legs are very, very spindly and thin, especially down here. I don't really like the feet. These two toes with the bar in the middle just for support, I'm not crazy about. Um, once you get them level, the feet level and the heel and everything, he's just, you know, fairly stable, so that's not really the issue. It's just aesthetically, I'm not crazy about the feet. Um, his face is kind of funky, but kind of diggy. It looks like he's got a gas mask. He's got some pretty cool light piping. Doesn't really look look like Spinister as far as the head, but it's you know just a repaint of the tomahawk head, which is kind of unfortunate. But I digress. I don't mind it. Um, what else? I mean, there's not really much else I can say. If you do have the Tomahawk mold, um, there's nothing new here but the paint job. I will. I bought it because it was, as soon as I saw a Spinister, I was like, ah, I want it, and I bought it. And I love him. He came as a two-pack, I think, with um, G2 Optimus in shattered glass colors. I think. Because you bought them in two-packs and bags. Um, I didn't go to BotCon, but I got these online. It's cheaper than going to BotCon anyway. I did go to TFCon, which is where I got Shafter. Shafter! But yeah, I mean, you can have the guns, like I said, you can have the guns up here. And you can shoot them like an idiot. You can have them in his hands. You can have them up top. You can have them under his wings. So I do like that. I do like the options you have for the guns. And I do like when you have them in his hand, you can fold the clips up and out of the way. Um, I do kind of wish they would have painted these, like the Target Masters and the Target Master colors. I mean, it wouldn't have done anything, but I think it would have been a little bit cooler just to have that little bit of more of an homage. Um, but yeah, he's back. Looks, you know, it's pretty solid. But there you have. Oh my God! Of course, right when I finish, I knock him over. There we have BotCon 2012 Convention Exclusive. 
who I can't get to stand up anymore. Stand up. Ugh. I'm starting to take back everything I said about stability. There we go. Cool. BotCon 2012 convention exclusive Shafter. Shafter, not Shafter. <laughs> BotCon 2012 exclusive Spinister. If you can pick him up cheap, I would say go for it. You're not going to find him cheap. So for the prices now, eh, you might want to stay away. But if you can get a hold of him for a fair price, uh, less than 100 bucks, go for him if you like Spinister. <laughs>